everybody, Aaron Chan here for Forever Football DRFC, your Dongs Drovers fan channel. It is preview day. Of course, Bolton Wanderers we are facing on the travels on the Tuesday. Now we do have a big announcement on the channel, as you'll have probably seen already. We are doing the first of our midweek match watch lives. Uh, so we're going to be watching along with the midweek game. So how it will work is, if it's not at the Keep Moat Stadium and I cannot make the game, I will be doing a midweek match watch along, basically. Um, so we'll be watching live. It starts at quarter past seven, so at 15 minutes after the team news comes out. I am working until, until six o'clock on the Tuesday, so I'll be back in time to get ready, get set up, get it all started. And uh, yeah, we'll be starting at quarter past seven. Get your reaction to the team news. What do you think? What what's your what's your thoughts on it? What's predictions for today? Um, but this is the preview video. This is the, this is before the watch along, and of course we will do the review as per usual. Uh, so the watch along is sort of making up for no vlogs at the actual stadium. So um, these are just for the midweek games I can't attend myself in the stadium. But uh, let's go then. So obviously this is Bolton Wanderers. They're an interesting team. Should be an interesting game. Um, I will go through my predicted lineup and predicted scoreline uh, in due course. Uh, but let's have a little look as we do with all the other teams in the previews about Bolton Wanderers. Now obviously Bolton Wanderers are, like I said, an interesting proposition. Uh, so going into the league standings, going into this game, uh, they are 13th place, 6 wins, 4 draws and 8 defeats, uh, scoring 24, conceding 27, uh, so they've conceded 2 more than us, uh, and they've scored 13 more than us. <laughs> so on paper, Bolton should be winning. However, look at... Looking at the recent form and looking at what they've been doing, of course, the last, the, the most recent game they faced uh, was, of course, against Wickham Wanderers, uh, and of course, it was defeat uh, against Wickham Wanderers. Before that, it was Stockport uh, and the FA Cup, where they lost the replay. Um, obviously, after the first FA Cup match with Stockport, before the replay, sort of in between the two Stockport games, they beat Crew. Um, they also uh, had a win up against uh, Rochdale in the EFL Trophy. Uh, and of course, uh, before that, they lost to uh, Portsmouth. Before that, it was a draw uh, to Gillingham. Uh, before that, it was a loss to Plymouth, a loss to Wigan before that, and a loss to Sheffield Wednesday before that. So let's take the two Stockport games out of it and the Rochdale games. To so take three out of that, you've got the last seven league games. In the last seven league games, they've lost five of them, drawn one and won one. Now, in our last seven league games, we've drawn four, we've lost three, so, and we've won one. So, you know, we, we've slightly got, a, I think, in my opinion, I think it's slightly better form than, Bolt, than Bolton. In my opinion, I think it's slightly better form. Um... And I think this could be a real turning point for Rovers. We just need to finish our chances. I think that's the that's the main thing we need to do here. Finish our chances. And you know, you you know, if you see me at the stadium, I'm going to be up in arms if we don't finish our chances on tomorrow night, because that's the one thing stopping us from getting results and getting out of that relegation zone. And I were hearing rival fans weeks ago saying. You know, we, we shouldn't be in the relegation zone come the end of the season. The reason why we are is because we're not performing in the final third. We're not getting the goals. We're not getting the results. A couple performances, we should have been getting the results, but we didn't. We should have took three points against Lincoln with the with the chance that we had um, this, week, this past weekend. We should have got something out of crew, but we only got a point because we sat back for the last ten minutes instead of going for it against bottom of the league. Sheffield Wednesday, we turned up up until the 70th minute and then conceded two goals and we didn't really exactly get back into the match after that. You know, there's plenty of performances where we should have took more than we did, but we just couldn't finish the chances. And this is the main highlight for the January transfer window. And I will do a video close to the opening of the window as to what we need in this window and specific names and targets. But we need a striker, if not one, two. At least two strikers. That's what we need. Um, 
Obviously, we can't do much about the actual lineup. Um, Close and Huwila will be back on the weekend next week against Burton. Uh, so it's going to be a similar squad. Dahlberg will hopefully be back from, from illness, but I really don't think that he'll play in this game. Uh, I think he'll be at least on the bench, if not not in the squad altogether, in my opinion. But that's just me being brutally honest. Uh, and after Lewis Jones' performance against Lincoln City this past weekend, I want him to get a start. So this is my predicted team then. So in goal, I've got Lewis Jones. Simple as that. I think Lewis Jones should start this match. I think he deserves it. Um, back four, Horton, Olowu, Anderson, Noyle. Simple back four. Bostock jarred his ankle, so we don't know how severe this is going to be, but I don't think he'll play anyway. So we've got Matt Smith returning from his suspension, partnering up with Ethan Galbraith in the centre. Rowett Cam, Taylor on the left, Barlow comes in on the right wing, so I don't think Villa had his best game against Lincoln, so I think Barlow deserves a start, I think he was really good against Lincoln, and then to do up front, because that's all we can do. I, 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 I'd like to see Thiago given another chance, but again, the chance against Lincoln, he should have finished. You can't start when you're not finishing your chances. But then again, Joe Dadu couldn't finish his chances. So why is he starting? Because we've got no other option. We've got no other option. Okunabir is out for another four months. And we haven't got the general transfer window open yet to bring in another striker. And Omar Bogle will not feature in a rover shirt. Again, it's pretty clear. Um, now, obviously... Some Rovers fans on Instagram will have seen uh, Rovers fan pages posting an interesting rumour that Alfie May could come back. Now, I take everything with a pinch of salt. Would I like Alfie May back? Yes, I would. Do I think it's going to happen? I'm not going to say anything until it's official. Um, but I'll talk about, a bit more about Alfie May sort of towards the start of the January transfer window and sort of more about other targets as well in, in that video that I'm planning towards the start of the window. But what... Can we do to get the result that I want to see us get? And this leads me on to my final prediction. I want us to see us grab those chances by the scruff of the neck, grab the ball by the horns, and just take your chances. If we do that against a Bolton side that concedes a lot of goals, I think we can get them. So I'm going with a 2 0 win. Might be a bit optimistic, but. I think if we take our chances, we'll get a couple of goals past Bolton. And Lewis Jones will have the confidence to keep another clean sheet in consecutive games. Um, and you've got to think as well, you know, one defeat in seven games in all competition. That's a pretty decent stat at the moment, especially with how, our, how poorly our season started. Four games unbeaten in all competitions. Two, an FA Cup match, a Papa John's Trophy match and two league games. And both of them were draws. Yes, they were wins, they were both draws. But we get three points against Bolton, we're nearly outside the relegation zone. You know, depending on other results as well, we'll be nearly outside the relegation zone. We're not that far away. And as an article came out this weekend and said, the target is to keep in touch with mid-table, with the mid-table lot, until the new year. That's the target. That will change if we don't get close to them and we get close to crew. But... For now, at least, with how close we are points-wise, the goal is to keep in touch with the mid-table lot. And mid-table is what many of us were expecting this season, while Richie Wellens builds his squad. So, if we get outside the relegation zone in these next few games, and by the by, when the new year comes around, when January comes around, the window opens, we're in mid-table, higher, lower, middle of the mid-table, I don't care. Mid-table, then... We're where we want to be, we're where we need to be for this season. So, you know, we're not that far away now. We're really not. It's just players need to look at where we are and just go for it now. But there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm Aaron Chandler from Throw Football, DRFC, Keatley on the Rover Side, and that, my friends, full time. Rover Side Die, thank you very much. And I'll see you for the midweek match watch live on Tuesday evening. Rover